Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. You're going to be seeing me in this purple outfit like a lot this month because I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos today while my in-laws are watching our daughter Ellie. I'm so thankful for them. They don't live very far. Uh, we're not like on a schedule really with them that like they watch her, but every now and then she'll just spend the day over there, a couple hours over there, which I so appreciate. Um, it gives me time to either do things for YouTube or to just do something for myself. So I'm so grateful that today I'm able to film a couple of videos because I love to do this. But today I'm going to share with you guys all of Ellie's toys that we have been loving, that have been working. We've had some hits, we've had some misses, but today I'm going to share with you the hits, the things that she's liking. Um, as a stay-at-home mom, I love having activities and things to do with Ellie. We go outside a lot, we go to the beach, we go to the park, we sit in the backyard and play with toys. Um, you know, but I toys I think can be really fun and educational and help them use their fine motor skills, look at colors, discover sounds. I am a proponent of toys, so if you're not a proponent of toys, this probably isn't the video for you. If you're not a proponent of like colorful toys, this also might not be the video for you. I love pretty looking toys as much as the next person, but a lot of the toys we have are not what I think a lot of uh, our generation, millennial generation, would call aesthetic, but Ellie loves them and that's what I care about. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I do a lot of mom content, I do a lot of cleaning motivation, and I also share some things that like on Amazon that I like to buy, like hits and misses. So I do a couple of different things, but definitely a focus on motherhood right now. So anyway, let's jump into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. So we're gonna start out with just some standard blocks. Um, we've been loving these blocks. We have a couple different varieties of blocks, but these are definitely a favorite. Um, they are from Amazon. Um, I will link these down below along with everything in this video. The majority of the stuff is from Amazon or from Target. Um, we This came with like, what, like 12 blocks? I don't know. They're scattered around the house or like in her little play area. Um, but these she started using probably around six months when she started teething because they were really yummy to bite on and really soft um, but yet hard at the same time. So they are silicone and they like make that little dog toy sound. Um, and like I said, she started using these around six months. She grabbed them, bite them. She still does that. She's still teething. She's almost 11 months old. Um, she'll be 11 months in two weeks, which is like crazy. Um, and now she's also having fun stacking them or I stack them for her and she loves to go like that. Um, she also likes to take two of them and go like this and make a sound, which makes her excited when we practice clapping. She loves to throw them. Um, so blocks are such a staple, I think, um, in any, like, play, what's the word I'm looking for, toy collection. Um, they really do grow with them and they're used for a lot of different like purposes throughout their life. I really like the silicone ones, just like I said, because of the biting um, and they're easy to clean off. These are great. Um, I like all the colors and they do actually have like numbers on them. They have like the dots with the numbers, they have animals on them, and then obviously they're all different colors. So like you can learn colors, you can learn counting, you can learn like fine motor skills, grabbing, knocking over, throwing, catching, like so many things can be done with blocks. So I just, yes, I definitely think get some blocks. <laughs> This is probably one of our more aesthetic items that um, I have for Ellie, and they are these mushy, mushy cups. Um, these are beautiful and functional. So for the longest time, these were just sitting on our shelf um, as decor, um, and she would maybe hold one of them when she was little and kind of look at it, but like not super interested, like liked it enough, but not like, you know, loved it. These have been awesome lately. Um, I think that we're missing one or two of them. They're, they're, everything is somewhere. <laughs> um, but what she loves doing with these now, similar to the blocks, is she likes taking, I'll like spread them out, and um, when I'm playing with her, I'll take one of the smaller ones, and I'll, in front of her, go like this, and hide it. 
and then move it around around the different ones and then she finds the cup that has the little um, mini cup inside of it so that's a fun game I feel like it's good for her tracking um, she likes to take two cups and figure out how they fit into one another um, she often like is going like this like trying to figure out how I get them to um, stack so that's really great for her I love seeing her try to explore and learn and try to figure things out so these are wonderful um, I really like them they do have cutouts in some of them so you could like put if you we haven't tried this but you could uh, probably bring these in the bath and like watch the water come out of them which would be a really fun activity I don't know why we don't do that all right, the next toy Ellie is obsessed with that we actually bought as a gift for someone, but then I left it in the living room and she found it. She was obsessed with it. I had to keep it and get another one um, for the gift. But it's this little xylophone piano. And it has five notes. Ellie loves this thing so much. This is, this, like, so much entertainment comes from this little thing that cost me five dollars um she loves it i love the different colors on it um it actually on the back of the package it showed how to play a couple of songs like how to play jingle bells Whoop. there you go <laughs> i can play jingle bells um and then on the back it has the little rods um i forget what they're called but the little things to play um right now she, when she has when I give her this she just immediately sticks it in her mouth so I'm not crazy about that so we don't really use these yet um right now she's just having fun um going like this she loves to slam it and like hear the different sounds she loves to touch and go like this um, she's just fascinated that music comes from here. Um, so I, this toy is wonderful. It's kind of like one of those things that I think some parents wouldn't mind and some parents this would drive them crazy because it is kind of loud and like obviously like, she's like slamming it. It doesn't bother me, but it might bother someone else. But um, she finds a lot of joy and satisfaction from this little thing. And you know what? That makes me happy. So anyway, this thing is a win. All right, next up is this little ABC wooden toy. Um, it has the ABCs, and then on the back side of it, it has an animal um, corresponding to the letter. She loves to just go like this. She sits and just goes like this. <laughs> um, she loves to look at the color. She loves to press and go like this and then take one and just spin the individual one. And then on the back side of it, it's one of these things, and I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the word. It's advocate. Well, I guess I am going to try abacus or something. Um, she loves this, too. She loves to just go like this. Um, she loves the colors. Um, she just is, like, very fascinated that everything slides. This slides this way, left to right. This one slides up and down. Um, this provides her a lot of entertainment, and I do feel like this will be a toy that grows with her um, because of the ABCs, because of the animals, because of, like, sounding out the animals. We can practice that. And then on this side, we can practice colors. We can practice counting. Um, so I just think that this is a really practical toy. It's a quiet toy, and it's a toy that will um, grow with your child. So I really, really like this a lot. One of my favorite brands um, for toys is Leapfrog. I think they make a lot of really nice educational things. Um, this is something that Ellie is obsessed with. She's been obsessed with this since, like, um, let's see, since November. I was supposed to give this to her for Christmas, but she found it in her closet uh, because it was, like, right on the edge of her closet. And then she started playing with it, and I just gave it and gave it to her. Um, but it's this little picnic basket, as you can tell. Um, it has, it makes cute sounds. Picnic time! Cute. Up, up, down, down. down. So, um, she loves to open and close this. So, the first thing that fascinates her is just the lid in general. I'm going to turn off the sound, though, just so you can hear me. But it does make cute sounds, and it talks to, um, the child. So, she loves to go like this endlessly, open, close, open, close. Um, and then she obviously, she loves to pull out stuff. So I'll show you what's in here. Um, not everything is in here that comes with it, but at least one of everything I think is. So it comes with two plates like this. 
she loves to hold the plate she likes to go like this she likes to bite it and then it comes with different food items a star cookie an orange sandwich and um a watermelon so she loves these little shapes she loves to bite these shapes um, similar to the blocks and the stacking cups she loves to go like this she likes to throw them she likes to hide these like under a pillow she just is very into these little shapes because they're perfect for her size little hands um, and then on the top of the lid there's a shape lid so we practice putting these in the lid I'll usually go like this um, and then she sits there and she presses it through um, or she tries to push them in. she she you know tries her best to get them in which I think is just great I love it it makes cute noises she loves when it lights up she loves when it's talking and singing to her this brings her a lot of joy so I am all for this little toy this picnic basket keeps her entertained for a very long time and we have a, such a fun time playing together we bring this outside in the backyard and have a picnic it's just great. I love this little toy so, so much. All right, for her. I'm taking you guys to our little play area section of our living room. Don't mind all of that over there. Um, but the other favorite toy is the Skip Hop Activity Center. This thing has been so helpful ever since Ellie could hold her head up. So probably like four months old, three, four months old, we started using this. Um, it's a great place to put them when you're like going to the bathroom or something and you just like need them to be like safe and contained. Um, she's not walking yet, so this is still working for us. This is a most used item for sure. And then that little platform can actually go up top where the little insert is and it turns into a table. So we'll definitely be using it as a play table um, after she outgrows it. Um, but love this thing, can't recommend it enough. A lot of my friends have it and they love it for their babies as well. We also got these little um, plastic like gear things. They're by Baby Einstein. Um, they have like, just, like a little suction. <laughs> And you could put them wherever. She just loves these. She knows how to like take them off and she chews them. But then she can just like sit here and like go like this if like she's kind of like over these toys. Um, and then the other thing that is pretty new, we got it for Christmas. <laughs> so cute. Is this little puppy walker. She loves this thing. She can't walk yet. Eventually she'll be able to and she could push it. Um, but she loves to just sit here in front of it and she likes to flip the pages let me just turn it off so you can hear me okay i just turned it off so you can so you can hear me but um she just loves to sit in front of this thing she likes to turn the page it has like little you know things for her to do go like this um she really 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 likes it um so it's a great toy right now i think it'll be helpful when she starts walking i, I think it'll be cute for her to push it around another toy i'm going to share with you guys is this melissa and doug puzzle that um steven's parents got ellie for christmas she's liking it um a couple of them are in the um toy chest at the moment um we're not quite where she's like putting them back yet but she likes to take them off and hold them and like just inspect them and bite them and look at them um they're just like the right size and I do like the big handles on this puzzle I feel like for um little ones like under one year old this is just great because they just like very easily pick it up and like um you know I like it so I like the barn too it'll be good when we talk about animals and making animal noises and all that kind of fun stuff so this is a really cute puzzle Melissa and Doug makes really nice toys um yeah this is really really sweet Hey guys, it's future Vanessa here. I'm just sitting down to edit this video finally. Um, if you saw the note at the beginning of the video, I took some time off, but I'm coming back and um, I just wanted to include this toy as well in this video because Ellie has been playing with this nonstop um, for the past like month and a half and it's such a nicely made toy. We got it from our next door neighbor as a gift, um, which is so sweet. It's so nicely made. Ellie loves it. Um, it is a loud toy. It's a little musical, like, band, like a tambourine, a little shaker. Um, she loves it, though. Everything is nice and small and easy to hold. And like I said, everything's, like, super sturdy and really nicely made. So I highly recommend this. She's been playing with it a ton and really loves it. It would make a great birthday gift. Um, but, yeah, just wanted to include this. And thank you guys so much for watching. If all else fails... 
try a tissue box. <laughs> Kids love tissue boxes, any type of box, tampon boxes, tissue boxes, cereal boxes, like empty boxes, empty Amazon boxes. They just love it. Um, in particular, we're very into this little tissue box right now. She likes to take her shapes, put them in here, shake it, dump it, bite it, hold it, squeeze it, you name it. She loves this thing. So yeah, you can always try something like this too with stuff around your house. Um, we also have been doing um, a saucepan and a um, wooden spoon. She likes to hit it, um, hit the pan with the spoon makes her happy. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you like mom content. I also do a lot of cleaning content on my channel and sharing different things I find on Amazon while I'm shopping. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.